Alrighty, folks. Captain Dave in the Wolf Den. One more time. What we're going to discuss here is a bit of a follow-up because I had a comment on the video I made about the Die Yard or D Yard aftermarket GoPro Hero 5 frame mount that you can get on Amazon. It's a much, much nicer case, frame mount case. Okay. Uh, well, here is the original. All right, and I'll put a link to all the videos and everything um, in this video, or I'll do a you know annotation box at the end to let y'all know, so you can follow. Look at how tight this is. I can't even get this camera out. That's sort of the problem with one of these. Good God. Okay, my first video showed the difference between the D-Yard, D-E-Y-A-R-D case on Amazon and the original frame for the Hero 5. And I described how much nicer this frame is as you can maybe see it's got that rubberized textury kind of feel okay the original is just real plasticky all right nothing nothing super special about it one thing that is definitely a factor is when you shut this one right and you go to open it it is a lot harder, a lot harder. This one, oh geez. So, I mean, for kids and girls with really nice fingernails and stuff, this might be really the frame mount for you. I like it because it's just better. Uh, what I did is I went over in the original video, the difference in let me close this up. The difference in the styles of and the, and the holes and stuff. All right. So let's look at first. Let's just look at the side. This one, you were able to open your side door with your SD card and your your plug for your USB or your USB-C, okay, you can open that up because of this. Here's one right here. Okay, boom. See, that's that. That's the Hero 5 in the D-Yard case. The big thing was, is the question that I got asked, and the big deal is how much microphone sensitivity noise do you get when you were handling the camera between this case, the original, and this one, the new one, the D-Yard, when you're just handling your GoPro. You're just handling it. Because the, the microphones on the Hero 5s are so sensitive now. And I call it a give and take situation. If you're wanting to get great audio from, you know, 15 feet away just by holding your camera up and letting it pick up the audio, which it does for me, I'm in a boat and I could be at the back of the boat and I don't have to yell and scream at this camera, you know, for it to pick up anything. But the original has microphone holes and this one doesn't. The original has a little soft button, but the hole is much bigger on the D-Yard here for hitting your your modes or, you know, over here. And then, as you can see, you can't see 
you can't see the mic hole. There's a mic hole right there, and you can't see it when it's in the case. All right. So if you're getting the gist of what I'm talking about here without going too far, um, down here, if that indeed is a mic hole, it would be open over here. So let's see. Not necessarily. I'm not seeing it. All right. Is there mic holes on the top? Is that a mic hole? Yep, right next to the uh, power button there. Can you see the mic hole here? No, it's covered up. So what the test is going to be, real simple, real quick. I'm doing this with my Hero 4 Sessions. It's being videoed, okay, which I love that little camera. But what we're going to do is I'm going to take one camera and I'm just going to film right here and I'm going to handle this okay so here's the original GoPro frame mount Hero 5 case I'm going to put this in I'm going to turn it on and I'm not going to do anything fancy here I'm going to video this being videoed and I'm going to handle the case and we're going to see what the noise level is compared to the D yard over here. Okay. So here we go. All right. Video is on. We're videoing folks. Here's my hand. Okay, that was test one, original case. Test two, D-yard case on Hero 5 Black. Here, I'll film this case. Rubbing hands all over it. All right. Well, then that's the that is a just handling it. I just did this. That's what I did. I didn't have it in the mount. I wasn't squeaking it back and forth or anything like that. I hopefully will answer a viewer's question and I will provide all the links and everything so you can see about this case from the original video and um, maybe even go to that video and you can see you can see, see the comments. Okay, so I really don't want like the original case that the GoPro came with and I really like the DR case and that is a test of everything that everybody's always complaining about but like boats because I come from the boating world there is no hundred percent in boats you always have to give and take no matter what in a boat and this being a very very sensitive microphones they boosted them big time up on this GoPro Hero 5, I believe. So when you do handle the case, it's gonna pick it up. What I do is I don't touch mine as much as, much as other people, I guess. I try not to touch it. It sits on the boat, it does its video, and I turn it on and off, and then I edit anything that's like a big, you know, big, big scratchy making noises, I edit it out. 